obviously I've been on live. Um, but as I, in the midst of me praying while I was reading Ephesians 6, God started to give me the meaning of Ephesians 6. Um, and so I'm going to read it again. And I know I read it before, but I'm going to read it again. Sorry, still coming off a of code, y'all. So this is Ephesians 6, 4, verses 14 to, I think it's 19, 14 to 18. Stand therefore, having girding, this is the arm of God. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth. A lot of people say it's the belt of truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints um it's a little bit of chicken scratch but i'm going to read um, some things make sense to me, so I'm going to have to try and decipher because I was like, okay, 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 I would like to pray. <laughs> okay. Um, so the belt of truth, the belt holds up pants. Pants hide your nakedness and shame. And so belts are at the center of your body. And the center of your body, the center of your armor is the truth of Jesus Christ. That is what centers you. That is what grounds you. And that is the belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. When people stand to accuse you, shoot arrows against you, there will be no charge. The arrows will not penetrate because you are righteous. A good example of this would be when I spoke on Dante Bro on Twitter. I remember someone told me, let's just pray none of your hidden sins comes out. And I was like, I have no hidden sins because I confess my sins to my sister. Scripture said, confess your sins to one another so that you'll be prayed for so <laughs> even though it was hard to openly admit there are things i've done which i'm very ashamed of I, I follow scripture and i actually opened up and i was like so these are things i've done and there's a liberation that comes with openly admitting i sinned and it, you you are able to come out of the shame and secrecy because that's what the enemy uses to hold over your head that secret sin that unconfessed sin <laughs> And so when you have that breastplate of righteousness, when people stand to throw arrows and accuse you, I'm, I'm righteous. There is no accusation you can wage against me because I stand in righteousness. I stand in the righteousness of God. Um, and so there is no charge you can hold against me. There is no charge you can hold against the believer. And that's why God calls us to be holy and righteous. So that when people come and stand against us, when the enemy wages arrows, there is no legal right the enemy can use to attack us because that righteousness, that breastplate of righteousness, it hits and falls. Um, feet, sandals, to spread the gospel of peace, not just any gospel, the gospel of peace. Remember what I said, if you were on here earlier, I talked about Westboro Baptist Church. They preach a gospel quite all right. They, um, they preach a gospel that says sin will land you in the lake of fire. They preach a gospel, but is it the gospel of peace? No, it's not. And so scripture is very clear. Gospel of peace. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> very clear. Not the gospel of um, you go into hell. That's it for you. No, it's the gospel of peace, meaning you can go to hell. You should go to hell. But here's why you're not going to go to hell if you do this. Um, number four, the shield of faith. It is our faith which moves God. God is who protects us and our faith or reliance on him allows him to move as we come into agreement through faith. We see this when Jesus went to his hometown and he was not able to perform miracles because the people had no faith. Our faith is what moves God. God gives us free will. So God will not force himself into our lives. It is our faith that gives him the access because we are coming into agreement with him. Amen. To move, 
So the shield of faith. <laughs> this is when I started really wanting to actually just continue my prayer. Helmets salvation. Think Goliath. Why did I say that? Okay. <laughs> Why did I see God? Why did God give me that? Okay, think Goliath. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Goliath, as mighty as he was, it was that head. It was that temple. When David threw that stone, he came crumbling down. The head is a tender spot. The head is our tender spot. Lies told to make us believe there is no salvation start with our mind. The enemy lies to us and tells us there is no salvation for us. And so we have to constantly have that helmet on. That helmet and that understanding that we do have salvation. We do have a savior that is Jesus Christ. The sword. The sword which is the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Scripture tells us that the word of God is like a double-edged sword piercing both the body and the soul and the soul. So when the sword of the word of God is what we use to literally cast down strongholds, when we fight against the enemy and the spirit, it's scripture we're using. It's the name of Jesus we're using. Let me tell you something. Satan knows the Bible, the occult. People in witchcraft, they know the Bible, they know scripture, they know how to quote scripture. People in false religions, even atheists, they know scripture. It's Christians who mess around and don't know scripture. And so when we talk about the sword, it's the word of God. And so you must know scripture. If you have a belt of truth and you have a breastplate of righteousness and a helmet of salvation and feet to spread the gospel of peace and you don't have a sword baby what is you you going into battle uh, you have armor but baby you have nothing to defend yourself with you need a sword you need to know the word of god and so that's what the holy spirit gave me while i was um praying this this morning last night my midnight prayer and i just wanted to share with you